Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Patrice Dayton and I'm Ron Jerome Moore. The Indiana School Board Association is voicing its concern over a new Senate bill. If passed, the bill would make school board candidates run for election under a political party. News 10's Blake Dahlier is live in the studio with more on how the proposed change could impact local elections. Patrice Rondrell, Senate Bill 188 is drawing controversy in the Indiana State Senate. If passed, people running for school board would need to associate with a political party. They could also choose to run as an independent. People on both sides of this issue say it could change things for local elections. Okay, I will, um... The Indiana Senate Elections Committee heard testimony on Monday to discuss the possible changes. The Indiana School Boards Association's Executive Director Terry Sprodlin was front and center to argue against Senate Bill 188. This legislation is not needed. School board candidates should be elected on their own qualifications, merit, experience, and platform, no matter their party affiliation. The ISBA is unanimously opposed to Senate Bill 188. Senator Jack Sandlin of Indianapolis wrote the bill. He says it would increase transparency among candidates and help school boards going forward. I just think that if we look at uh, changing the mix and having a higher degree, I think, I think elected party officials have a higher degree of responsibility uh, to the community. Advocates against the bill expressed concern about politics entering education. Sandlin says that's something he's not worried about. Do we have hyper politics, uh, you know, at the national level and sometimes uh, in other areas? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, but, I, but I really don't see that carrying over. Sprodlin says this will be the case. He says it's simply unavoidable. School board uh, meetings are not immune from political conflict, but inviting politics in the boardroom with this legislation may have the unintended consequence of further fueling such conflict. The Senate Elections Committee held the bill for continued discussion. Patrice Rondrell, back to you.